What's up, weight makers? It's me, Mommy Suna. <gasps> Squidward. Guys, uh, there's a new MLM in town. I'm making the prediction right now that it is going to pop off. Like, kind of in the same way Elamir and Boo did. You go to bed one day and you've never heard of anything like this in your life, and then the next day you wake up and it's just all over your news feeds of people selling olive stuff. Well, we'll get into that in just a minute here, but first I want to thank the sponsor of today's video, Hello Fresh. You can take the hassle out of Pop-Tart, really? You can take the hassle out of mealtime this spring by delivering pre portioned fresh ingredients right to your door with HelloFresh. Pop-Tart, please. If you're basically anywhere else but Arizona, <laughs> then the warm weather on its way to you is probably a good thing, and you probably want to spend more time outside. Spend more time frolicking in the flowers and stuff that uh, everywhere else has except for the desert. What are seasons? I don't know, but spring, I hear, is great everywhere else. So spend more time doing outside stuff and less time at the grocery store. Earth Day is on April 22nd, and HelloFresh has always been committed to keeping the planet as clean as possible. On average, Average HelloFresh's meals have a 31% less carbon footprint than the same meals using ingredients you get from the grocery store. Plus, almost everything that comes in your HelloFresh meal kits are recyclable, so the planet loves it. <laughs> Cut down on food waste by at least 23% too, which is not only good for the earth, but it's good for your wallet too. You save some money. Yes, you do. But let's talk about the food, baby! You're watching me cook their one pan black bean tacos, which are so easy and delicious. Cleanup and prep was a breeze with this recipe. If black bean tacos aren't your thing though, no worries. HelloFresh has 40 recipes and over 100 seasonal and convenience items to choose from each week. There is something here for everybody. So if you're ready to get started with HelloFresh today, I have a sick deal for you. No, really, it's pretty sick. Go to HelloFresh.com, use the code SavannahMarie50 for 50% off, plus your first box ships for free. That's HelloFresh.com, Use the code SavannahMarie50 for 50% off, plus free shipping on your first box. Thanks again to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. Definitely try them out. If you haven't already, what have you been doing with your life? It's really honestly like a game changer. I love HelloFresh and I think you will too. So thank you again. Now let's talk about olives. <laughs> So this new MLM came on my radar because it was being promoted by these guys. You've probably seen them before. You've probably recognized them because I reacted to them with Julie Joe and Aaron B's back when Elamir was a thing. Their names are Brandon and Shanna? Shauna? Shemalama Ding Dong? I don't know how to say her name and quite honestly, I don't care. <laughs> but they were pretty much the top dogs in Elamir. Until a couple weeks ago, I was sent this post that Shauna made on Facebook and it said, so I don't wanna make this one of the traditional mlm -y posts but I have a lot of people in my inbox. So yes, I have resigned from Elamir. It was a very tough decision, as you must know. But ultimately, we all must make tough choices. And it was one that we had to make. We have learned so much in this journey and are blessed and grateful to have been offered such an amazing opportunity. Put away your popcorn. There isn't going to be some long, drawn-out, dramatic story here. I deeply love a lot of these people. I put my all into it for more time than you can imagine. And I honestly wish them nothing but the best. So with that, it's time for us to move forward in peace. Love you all. XOXO, Shanna, Shanna, Shamma Lamma Ding Dong, and Brandon. <laughs> Hashtag no regrets. Hashtag looking forward, not back. And then the following morning, she made a Facebook post that said, Good morning. Reminder, maybe God ruined your plans so that your plans wouldn't ruin you. Hashtag trust in him. What? The following day, she posted, Pivot heart. This is our word for 2023. We are ready to embrace change. The entire beginning of this year has been about change. Changed our circle, changed our health, changed our daily habits. Our goals have changed. I have never been so at peace. I thought that's what Elamir was doing for you. That's what you said like all the time. So that's weird. I can't wait to tell you what we've gotten ourselves into in and out of the MLM space. We will be live soon to share. Hashtag impact over impressing. Hashtag let's bring fun back. Like they were very clear clearly playing this up for a few days, probably expecting that their entire team from Elamir was just on the edge of their seats like, what are they doing now? We all knew Elamir. It was the stupid yellow strip scam. And Elamir, as of right now, from what we can tell, it's kind of imploding on itself. 
And up until recently, Shauna and Brandon were very vocal supporters of Elamir. Of course they were, because they were at the top of the compensation plan. They regularly appeared on training Zoom calls, they made plenty of content about it, and then like randomly, eventually, they just kind of went radio silent when it came to Elamir. If you scroll through Shauna's Facebook page, she hasn't posted about Elamir since January. She was at an Elamir leadership retreat and was like, I can't wait to show you what we have going on next, and also, oh my god, we're so thankful and blessed. But then never posted about Elamir again. It's so so weird. So two days after all of these posts that I just read to you, her and Brandon went live to finally spill the beans to announce that they were joining a new MLM. Shocking, I know. This MLM, as you may know because you clicked on this video, it's called Olive Tree People? Yeah. I have never heard of it either. Shauna and Brandon are the type of MLM distributors that are ready to jump ship at the drop of a hat. Like if you offer them a brand new ground floor opportunity, they're out, baby. <laughs> and I believe that this is what they've done here. So before Elamir, it appears as though they were in Modere. And before that, I'm told that they were with My Daily Choice in LuLaRoe and more. I'm told that they've been in other companies as well. These guys are serial MLMers. They hop around all over the place. Between August, 2022 and January, 2023, everything they posted was about how great Elamir was and Shauna would regularly attribute Elamir to like helping her ADHD symptoms which was of course a lie. Elamir was wildly ineffective. I know in one of my videos I posted a screenshot of a group chat I was sent where basically a bunch of Elamir reps were talking about how ineffective it is and how they're disappointed in the product and all that stuff but all we heard from Shauna and Brandon those five months that they were with Elamir was how calm they were, how great Elamir made them feel, how they stopped bickering at each other, how they would just smile for no reason, well Brandon was vacuuming and had a big smile on his face because he took Elamir, like how it made them so happy. If it was so great, then why would you stay with that company for only five months? Like why would you leave? If you found something that does that for you and it's not a pharmaceutical, like you don't have to go through a doctor to get it, it's just a supplement, like why would you leave? Because you talked it up real good, guys. It certainly couldn't be because everyone realized that Elamir was just a scam. It couldn't be because Elamir just started imploding on itself. Everyone realized it was just placebo and then stopped joining or left entirely. They joined Elamir as soon as the opportunity presented itself and I would assume it's because as we all know in MLMs timing is everything. Get in early you basically skip the entire process of having to work your way to the top. You just kind of start at the top. You might not even have an upline. Like corporate would be your upline. You are like the ultimate upline. Then the company's natural growth happens. Just how every other network marketing company does. Fast growth and you are there at the top when it begins. You are the one that people are going to join under and then, you know, the pyramid happens. Yeah. So they saw that opportunity with Elamir and then as soon as that fizzled out, they were on the lookout for a new similar opportunity and that's where Olive Tree People comes in. In my opinion, it's a really bad name for an MLM. Like it sounds like a cult, almost like a cult who built a tree house in an olive tree and lived there together and just slathered themselves in olive oil all day. And I say that as a joke, but it actually really isn't that far off because according to this promotional video where the founder and CEO says that they formulated their first product in the legendary olive tree house. Yeah, we'll get into it, but he literally bought an olive grove and built a tree house in an olive tree and lived in it. <laughs> you can't make this stuff up, dude. If you haven't figured it out already, Olive Tree People sells products that are olive-centric, if you will, olive-based. And honestly, seeing Shauna and Brandon leave Elamir for an MLM that exclusively sells products made of olives was kind of like a weird zag that I don't think any of us were expecting. Of course, we expected them to leave Elamir because it was a sinking ship, but this was definitely unexpected. While Olive Tree People is a new MLM, it actually isn't a new company. Company at all. Olive Tree People's parent company is called Olivita, founded in 2003 by CEO Thomas Lamel. And saying this guy is a character is an extreme understatement. <laughs> There's a long story posted on the company's website. Feel free to read it all yourself. I'll link it down below, but I'll tell you some of the highlights here. It's wild. Long story short, Thomas Lamel literally says that he owes his life to Olive Tree. He credits Olives for giving him his confidence back. He says Olives put a smile on his face, even in the darkest moments. They taught him how to trust, how to have faith, and balanced his life. They taught him that humans are intertwined with everything, and that only together, with people and Olives, 
can we be whole? Write a better love story. I dare you to try. You can't. This man loves olives. He would marry an olive if he could. And quite honestly, if you told me that he already has married an olive, I would believe you. All of you. I love you too. All of you. The dude became an entrepreneur in his 20s and continued forward until he got sick in his 30s. And the website says he was put on strong prescription medications, but every time he would stop taking them for a few days, things got worse. And I'm like, hi, welcome to medications. <laughs> That's kind of how a lot of them work. As someone who's been on SSRIs for over a decade, you can't just like stop taking a medication and expect to just like stay normal. He's like, I stopped taking my meds and then I got sick. It's like, uh-huh. Like your body literally starts to have withdrawal symptoms, which is normal for most medications, but that's why you don't just like quit cold turkey. And I don't know exactly what he was taking, but it sounds like he wasn't taking them as directed by a medical professional. And he would get frustrated because he couldn't just quit cold turkey whenever he wanted to. You know, I understand that frustration. Again, I've been on SSRIs for over a decade. I know how crappy it feels to like feel like you're relying on a medication to keep you normal, to keep you feeling good. It sucks that you feel like you can't rely on your own body to do that for you. But I also know that there is nothing holistic that will give me the life-saving results that I've experienced with my SSRIs. And this dude wants you to believe otherwise. For the record, he mentions ulcers in his story. So I'm pretty sure that's the illness he's talking about, but they don't actually say like for sure. He says he was drawn to olive trees through a vision he had. And soon enough, he was consuming 50 liters of olive oil per year. That, like that's obnoxious, I'm sorry. And yes, admittedly, olives and olive oil have been studied fairly extensively. They've been shown to show some certain health benefits, right? I mean, that's pretty well known. But according to Thomas, he quit all of his medication overnight and then dedicated his life to olives because of a vision he had. And now admittedly, like I was laughing my little buns off the first time I read this story because of how ridiculous this is, how ridiculous everything sounded. And I'm sure you're sitting right there with me. Like this is so ridiculous. It is laugh worthy for sure. But the reality is I don't think I actually need to explain how dangerous this rhetoric is because this isn't some like random distributor just out here talking about, I don't know, non-compliant stuff on Facebook, making health claims and stuff. This is coming straight from the founder and CEO. He believes wholeheartedly that he can communicate with plants, full stop. In his story, he asks himself if what he's feeling is real. And then he answers, yes. It definitely is. Um, no. Whatever sickness he had, maybe he had a reaction to the medications he was taking, or maybe the fact that he was clearly not taking them as directed, in my opinion. Something must have happened here that had to have caused some kind of mental condition where he's become delusionally convinced that he can have conversations with plants and that the plants actually talk back. And like, I'm not saying that lightly. Again, like as someone who has struggled with mental illness for most of my life, like I don't say that lightly, but I'm sorry, but that is not normal. That's not reality. Real quick, I'd like to read this from the story page on their website. And Thomas says, after I had stopped my medication and completely changed my diet, I always started my day with a glass of olive oil and a squeeze of lemon and embalmed myself with olive oil, both outside and inside from morning to late at night. I felt the first small positive change on the ninth day of my self-created therapy. I became more sensitive and could perceive my myself better and better. With every little achievement, my confidence grew that no one else can know better than me what is good or not good for me. I discovered my inner physician who is slumbering in all of us. So he drinks an entire glass of olive oil every day and then slathers himself in it. Don't forget, like, let me just remind you that he started doing this because of a vision he had. Honestly, in my non-professional opinion, this sounds like he's having auditory and visual hallucinations. And I guess that kind of stuff could happen if you just stop taking your medication. I I'm not a doctor or anything like that, so I can't say for sure. I'm just like, it seems like it's very obvious that this isn't normal, this isn't right. Like you need to get professional help here because this is not real. It's all delusions. Anyway, I think it's really important to point out that the only time your inner physician should ever awaken is after going to medical school for many, many years. <laughs> this is so dangerous, oh my God. Thomas claims that after 100 
276 days that he was completely restored using the power of olives and then he went on an adventure to learn how to create and market his own olive oil. You'll hear the reps mention elixir and a molecule. So this is basically where it comes from. He was taught some ancient recipe of what he calls an ancient forgotten Mediterranean fountain of youth made from crushing and muddling the leaves, bark, and roots of the olive tree. And then he allegedly put it under a microscope and found that this molecule called hydroxytyrosol is found in a much higher concentration in olive leaves than in the olive oil that he was chugging and slathering himself in every day. So that's where the inspiration for the products come from. Now, according to the NIH, hydroxytyrosol is a powerful antioxidant and actually it shows a lot of promise as far as health benefits go. Every source I read about it talks about how gross and disgusting the taste is. Distributors of this product either mix it with other stuff or they use chasers to get the stuff down so it must be nasty. If the health benefits are actually there though it could be worth it depending on who you are. But another thing you hear the distributor saying is that Olive Tree People sells waterless skincare and that sounds ridiculous I know. The idea is that they're like we use pure olive oil or olive leaf extract as the first ingredient instead of water which is what most other skincare products do. They have water as their first ingredient. And that makes me wonder how shelf stable the products are because my understanding is that most skincares that use water as their first ingredient do so because it's more shelf stable and I think it like works better with whatever preservatives they use and stuff. Speaking of preservatives, Thomas kind of sticks his nose up at them in his story. He claims the chlorophyll in the olive tree leaves could not be stabilized. After a short while it gave the products a brownish tint. And then in the next sentence he's like like, finally, our products were born, basically. So I just wonder if he found a way around that or if he was just like, oh, well, I guess our stuff is gonna go bad really fast because I hate preservatives, which there's more to that here. We'll get to it in a second. So with these products, Thomas started Olivita Spa on an island called Mallorca off the coast of Spain, and he gave his services the slogan, 10 years and 14 days. He says that local press started reporting on his olive tree therapy, and he didn't even know if his products could live up to this slogan. Logan, which if anything, at the very least, it's just irresponsible and misleading advertising and marketing, in my opinion. He says this on his website, which I'd like to call into question. A regular Western medical doctor in Palma examined the participants in our olive tree therapy program, recording their medical test results at the beginning and end of the 14-day therapy program. Thus, we were able to prove that it is not just a wellness therapy, but that real, measurable results are achieved. But then, like, he doesn't tell us who the regular Western medicine doctor was who ran the test like what's his specialty what are his credentials where did he go to school where did he get his degrees we're just supposed to take Thomas's word for it we're supposed to take this regular western medicine doctor's word for it he doesn't identify him so to me that's rule number one of finding out that someone is being dishonest anyway two books have been written about this guy's olive tree therapy the first one published in 2008 Thomas claims to have literally devoured the book which sir I don't think you actually ate the book. <laughs> His story page ends there. I mean, it basically seems like he kept selling his Olivita products in the EU until now, pretty much. From what I could gather, pre-launch of Olive Tree People started on March 1st of this year, 2023, and the first distributor was Mary Scott. She gained MLM notoriety through the company called Vic Beauty that closed down late last year. I think she's also the woman who's responsible for saying that Chelsea is the queen of the couch people. <laughs> so that's funny. After Vic Beauty closed down, I'm told that she moved on to Beauty Society, which I haven't seen be covered by many anti-MLMers. I think Chelsea might have covered it as soon as Mary jumped over to Beauty Society. But since then, about a month ago, she jumped ship again, and now she's the first ever distributor in Olive Tree People, which means she's gonna be the upline of all uplines. The Super Saiyan upline, if you will. Last I heard, they were about 300 distributors, but that has probably grown since then, because Mary Scott and Shauna and Brandon and others, I'm sure, who are jumping on board in this ground floor opportunity. They have decent influence when it comes to MLMs, bringing their teams over with them, 
like MLM hopping and stuff like that. This isn't their first rodeo and they have a lot of followers who trust them, which to me is wild, but anyway. Today, Olive Tree People has 128 products spanning over four different brands, which are Olivita, which is their original line of beauty products along with supplements, LA Dope, which is a line of hemp products, The Intuition of Nature, which to me just seems like a different line of products that would fit under the Olivita umbrella, and then there's Olive Connected. So we'll get into that last one because there's a lot there. It's wild. I mean, I'm not gonna sit here and profile every single product right now. I will spotlight a few interesting things I found though. So first of all, one of the sets that I saw that really drew me in was called Three Month Cure The Beauty Fountain. And obviously the word cure is what got me. I mean, they literally cannot claim that their products cure anything. Like it's 100% an FDA violation. They are not selling drugs. They're selling supplements. I guess maybe they would be qualified as food. Probably more so supplements though, but you cannot say that a food or supplement will cure, treat, or prevent any illness or disease. And we see that kind of disclaimer on most MLM's websites. But oddly enough, Olive Tree People doesn't have that, but they do have this warning that's on this particular product. It says, food supplements are not intended as a substitute for a balanced and varied diet and healthy lifestyle. Store out of reach of small children. <laughs> and that's it. So needless to say, I will be reporting this to the FTC, the FDA, and Tina, and you can find instructions, links, all those things down below on how to do so. I highly recommend that you join me in this endeavor because this is a very clear violation of some well-known guidelines when it comes to these governmental agencies. You literally can't claim it's a cure. They're going to get their butts handed to them for sure. Anyway, so this is basically like marketed as the fountain of youth and by drinking it, you're supposed to see a reduction in wrinkles, reduction in cellulite, finer pores, healthier nails, a strengthened immune system, system and other stuff. They recommend taking a shot of this every day for three months and you can buy a three pack of bottles of this stuff for freaking $209.95. But hey, you can get it for 10% off if you get it on an auto ship for only $188.96. That's wild. It's nearly $70 per bottle. And what's in it, you may ask? Remember how they claim to be selling waterless skincare? Well, if you look at the ingredients, the first one listed is aqueous, aqueous. extract of olive extract. Okay, so there's so much wrong with that. First of all, aqueous, is it pronounced aqueous? Aqueous. Aqueous. You you know what I mean? Literally means of or containing water or watery. So is it waterless then or no? Like it's a pretty simple question. Also, how do you take an extract of an extract? And then there's collagen peptide, which usually comes from animals. After that, it's apple juice concentrate, which like apple juice that you get from the grocery store also comes from concentrate. So like, what's the difference? And then pomegranate juice concentrate and then some other weird stuff. And then potassium sorbate as a preservative. I thought Thomas didn't like preservatives. So it actually says sorbate on the website, but a simple Google search shows that they definitely meant sorbate. Anyway, so it's a chemical additive, which, you know, these crunchy people detest chemicals, even though everything's a chemical. Water's a chemical. Also, I found a safety data sheet on potassium sorbate that says it advises against the use of potassium sorbate in food, drug, pesticide, or biocidal use because it's known to cause serious eye damage and irritation. All that being said, I'm not trying to say that this product's harmful because it uses potassium sorbate as a preservative. They probably just use a really small amount of it to the point where it won't harm you. The thing is, is that this kind of stuff appearing on labels is kind of what what sends all these crunchy people into hysteria. <laughs> They'll find a safety data sheet like this and then like immediately label any product that uses it as dangerous because it contains that stuff. I mean, it's kind of like the same thing how anti-vaxxers are always like, there's mercury in the vaccines. And it's like, okay, so it's a preservative called thermarosol. It's a mercury based preservative. So then they run around saying that vaccines are dangerous because they contain heavy metals like mercury, which is completely disregarding the fact that mercury is a metal found naturally in the environment and they likely consume more mercury on a daily basis like just eating regular food than the mercury contained preserving what's in a vaccine. So it's all about context with these people. You always have to look into that when they start running their mouths about what's safe and what's not. And it's really important to remember that the dose makes the poison because even water and oxygen can be toxic if you ingest too much of it. But we also need that stuff to live. 
So the point of me even bringing this up is just to point out their hypocrisy and how lack of critical thinking skills just kind of leads people to freak out about stuff like this. And if they're gonna freak out about mercury in vaccines, then they should be freaking out about potassium sorbate found in their three month cure beauty shot, but they won't. I mean, realistically, they shouldn't anyway in my non-professional stupid idiot opinion. It's just hypocritical if they don't is all I'm saying. Speaking of hypocrisy, their nearly $70 FO6 face serum second ingredient is water. <laughs> Waterless skincare who? Where? We don't know her. She doesn't even go here. I think that tells you all you really need to know about the company's products. Like I said, they have 128, including a $30 freaking lip balm, a $20 1.7 fluid ounce hand sanitizer, and a bunch of face masks and elixirs running basically between $40 and $100. You'll also hear the reps boasting about the beauty molecule, which is that molecule that Thomas says he discovered to be in higher concentrations in the olive leaves than in the olive oils, hydroxy, whatever it is that they say. That beauty molecule comes in the source of a drink and you take shots of it every day, just like the other one we talked about. Here's something I found really interesting. The preservatives listed on this product show our old friend potassium sorbate, but also sodium benzoate. Research says that it's generally a safe preservative to use as long as it's a small enough amount, which I'm sure in this case it is. I'm not accusing them otherwise. I'm not saying that this product is unsafe because of their use of it. However, according to WebMD, while sodium benzoate is considered safe, scientists have shown that negative side effects occur when it's mixed with absorbic acid, which is vitamin C. Their studies indicate that it then turns into benzene, a known carcinogen that may cause cancer. And this is significant because in the ingredient list of this product, it specifically says it contains vitamin C. More specifically in the ingredient listed as camu camu fruit extract, and then it says four to one myrkyria dubia, which is the camu camu fruit. And then it says 25% vitamin C. So like I'm no chemist or anything or like scientist or whatever, but it, to me, it kind of sounds like the specific extract is mixed with 25% vitamin C and then the rest is camu camu. So that all being said, that is in the middle of the ingredient list and the vitamin C is basically an ingredient within an ingredient, ingredientception if you will. So it's probably a small enough amount not to be harmful, but again, I'm not educated enough to know this stuff for sure. It just popped up in my research and I thought that it was interesting. I'm just kind of simply wondering out loud and I'm sure someone in the comments knows more about this stuff and I'm not suggesting that drinking this stuff is gonna cause cancer. Only that what I found while I was researching this was just kind of questionable to me and be, made me go, oh, carcinogens you say. So I don't know, maybe it's worth looking into for someone who knows that stuff more than I do. The final thing I wanna mention about the products is, <laughs> This, oh my God, this olive reconnected to nature line. Hold on to your butts because the pseudoscience here, it's a money grab. It's going to make your head explode in anger about how ridiculous this is. So I'm not gonna try to pretend that I know like the science or pseudoscience behind frequencies and stuff. All the crunchy babes always talk about it, but I don't think that most, if not all of this frequency stuff is scientifically sound in the first place. But that being said, Olive Tree People has this listed as coming soon on their website and it appears to be a bracelet you wear that are you sitting down for this <laughs> you should be because the product says that by wearing this bracelet olive reconnected to nature transports the energy and primival information of our mountain olive trees to people all over the world via a 432 hertz frequency transmitter attached to the trees and <laughs> they're gonna be selling a bracelet that connects you to the energy of a freaking olive tree <laughs> i'm just gonna read this portion of the website to you. I don't think it needs really any more commentary. The ridiculousness speaks for itself. Together with bioscientists, physicists, and IT experts, he made it possible to give the mountain olive trees a voice, to make them audible and tangible, and to connect them to us humans in real time. This is what is really extraordinary and unique in the world about the mountain olive trees in Arroyo Molinos de Leon. They are online, on air, so to speak. 24 seven on a social network with the bioactive bracelet all of me or at home in the office or in public spaces with the big olive on the wall, you can feel the balancing primival information and energy of the 7,000 year old olive tree science, no matter where you are exactly in the right dosage because here too, nature is unmatched by its intuition and variability. Thomas founded a social network. It connects people with millennia old olive trees and enables them to reconnect with their own nature. 
nature for inner beauty and life balance. Mountain olive trees are meditating living beings with the power to lead us back to the core of ourselves. This guy takes talking to plants to an entirely new level. If you think you can audibly hear the thoughts that a plant is having, like, no, you need to seek a mental health professional. I don't know what else to say. Again, I'm not saying this to be a dick. I'm not saying this lightly at all. This is not real. And if you are to the point where you believe that you can hear olive trees communicating with you, you are not well. That is an auditory hallucination. That's not real. Stop it. Get some help. Anyway, this bracelet will be on sale for $229 plus a $10 monthly subscription to what appears to be an app on your phone called Hemp Frequency. I tried to look it up on the Google Play Store. I didn't see it, so maybe it's not launched yet. The product isn't launched yet either, so. And then that also makes me wonder, like, if your downline is subscribed to this $10 a month subscription, do the uplines make a percentage of that too? Or is it just product sales? So I guess you need the bracelet and the app to be able to connect yourself to the olive trees. Now, if you want to become connected to the olive trees while at home 24 seven, you can hang a giant 77 pound coil on your wall called Big Olive. Turn your home into an atmosphere like in a 1000 year old olive grove for the extremely reasonable price of only $12,950, plus a monthly subscription of $50 to the same app apparently. Yes, it's only $13,000. Here's what the description says. The big olive is connected directly and exclusively to your personal mountain olive tree via your Wi-Fi, home or office network. The energy and original information of your mountain olive tree is transported to your home or office via the bifiler, bifiler, I don't know, coil integrated in big olive. Every big olive is a globally unique overall work of art of nature because every big olive is exclusively connected to its own mountain olive tree. So like when you buy this, do you gain ownership over a real olive tree somewhere? Because I'm pretty sure this guy's olive grove is still on that island off the coast of Spain. So like, are you able to visit your own personal mountain olive tree as sort of like a pilgrimage to Mecca? My guess is no, but I mean, maybe. <laughs> like, do you own that tree now? Probably not. This line of products will also include olive pods, which just look like AirPods, but I wonder if you can connect Bluetooth to it to play whatever you want, or if they're just always playing some weird like healing frequency. They'll also have an air purifier that will fill your space with the energy of a mountain olive grove and olive water, which allegedly is energized and structured water through information from the mountain olive tree. So like a tree told Thomas how water is supposed to be. And now he's gonna claim that he's selling it. There's a couple other little gadgets in this line but needless to say, I think the entire thing, the entire thing here in this line specifically, complete scam, absolute money grab scam, in my opinion. And I'm sure it would also be considered a scam to any respectable person in the scientific community. I think we have a pretty solid understanding of the products now. I want to briefly talk about what we know about the compensation plan. First of all, in their frequently asked questions on their website, it asks if olive tree people is a pyramid scheme. And the answer is no, the olive tree people compensation plan is not a pond scheme. That wasn't the question. We asked if it was a pyramid scheme. There's a difference. Thanks for clarifying that it isn't a Ponzi scheme, but that's not the question that we asked. So they didn't answer the question. Sounds like a pyramid scheme to me. But anyway, it's a standard legal sales strategy that pays commissions to independent olive tree people, consultants who sell products to customers and manages other team members who do the same. Olive tree people does not pay commissions just for recruiting other distributors, only when products are sold. Similar compensation compensation structures are implemented by the vast majority of direct selling companies. Conversely, a pyramid scheme is illegal and Olive Tree People does not operate such a scheme. We also pride ourselves on actively training our independent consultants on compliance with our policies and procedures. Yeah, 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 tell it to the judge. In my opinion, every MLM is just a pyramid scheme that hasn't been caught and prosecuted yet. If you murder someone and then never get caught, you're still a murderer. You don't have to wait to be arrested and thrown in jail to be considered a murderer. Like you murdered somebody, you are a murderer. <laughs> that being said, something being illegal doesn't mean that it doesn't exist and no one ever does it. Like weed is illegal in most states still in this country, I'm pretty sure, but like people still do it all over the place. Pyramid schemes are illegal in this country, but that doesn't mean they don't exist. Existing companies in this country have been fined and or shut down by the FTC for operating as an illegal pyramid scheme. Like they still happen. <laughs> in my opinion, Olive Tree People is 100% a pyramid scheme. That's just kind of 
operating under the guise of an MLM. And I'll explain this part a little more in depth as we look at the compensation plan. The issue here is the only place that we've been able to access all of Tree People's compensation plan is through a distributor's YouTube video. They do not have like a PDF file of the compensation plan on their website available for anyone to look at. And I know that there have been some people who have been trying to get their hands on it. There's like a chat box on their website that you can like, like a customer service chat box kind of thing to no avail. Can't get it through them. Maybe if we like found the right email and emailed them and asked for it, perhaps we could get it that way. I'm sure that the PDF file will surface soon enough, but this is the best we have for right now, this YouTube video. So if you sell a product to an outside retail customer, your base commission is 25%, pretty standard for the industry. That percentage can rise up to 35% if you reach certain sales thresholds. So for example, the reps are pushing the beauty molecule supplement pretty hard. One bottle costs $89.95. So that's a pretty steep price. That price alone makes it a difficult sale to make to just your average person. But let's say you actually do. At the 25% commission rate, you will make $22.49. And in order to make a minimum wage-ish living off of only selling products and not recruiting a team at all, you'd probably need to sell, what, like a hundred bottles of this stuff every single month, meaning multiple bottles of this every day. And let me tell you, as someone who's been into MLM, basically anyone else who's in an MLM or who has ever been involved in sales in general can tell you that making one singular sale of this stuff is not going to be easy, let alone doing it multiple times a day, every single day. And that's just to make like minimum wage. This is why we always say that you can't make money from network marketing without building a team. We don't mean it in the literal sense because like $22 is money, but it might as well be pocket change. And the effort that you have to put in to getting that $22 is just not worth it, let alone doing that enough to be able to just make a minimum wage salary, it's not worth it at all. Where the real money comes in, in all of Tree People and in every other MLM is through the enrollment process, aka recruiting. And for the record, in order to receive any of the bonuses I'm mentioning here now, you as an enroller have to have 100 PV from loyalty orders every month. This sounds like this includes any retail customers that buy from you or get an auto ship plan with with you or anything like that. But what's probably more likely to happen to most people is that you joining, even as an enroller, you're literally enrolling yourself to be a customer. That's what you are. When you join Olive Tree People or any other MLM for that matter, you are not a business owner, you are a customer. So what's more likely to happen is that you yourself as a customer of Olive Tree People, you are going to be making that 100 PV monthly threshold yourself by your own personal purchases. You're going to be pressured into getting getting an auto ship plan for yourself because you have to be a product of the product. No one's gonna wanna buy these olive -y products <laughs> if you're not using them. You have to have results to show or else people aren't gonna wanna use them. So you technically like don't have to buy any products by yourself. You're just heavily incentivized to do so or else you might not get your bonuses. Your loyalty auto ship will ensure that you qualify for bonuses every month. Whether you actually make any retail sales to actual customers or not. Anyway, Olive Tree People gives you an incentive to to continually recruit people to your team in the form of their fast start bonus, which is when you recruit someone as your direct downline for their first 60 days, you will earn 20% commission on everything they sell. And I think buy, but again, like we don't have the PDF file to like really like look deep into. We just have what's on this lady's YouTube channel. So that can add up to substantial money if you focus your business, excuse me, sorry, business on recruiting instead of actually selling the products literally being paid to recruit. If you don't recruit, you cannot make this money. You cannot obtain this bonus. You have to recruit to do so. They also have a team growth bonus that literally appears to be a cash bonus paid just for recruiting somebody. Team growth bonus is also based on LRP and it is used to create a long-term sustainable business. The way it works is if you have three people on your level one that you personally enrolled on a loyalty rewards program, you're going to get $50. But the great thing is that these are stackable. If I had six people on an LRP on my level one, I'm going to get $100 and so on and so on, on to infinity. Also on your level two, if you have nine people, you're going to get $200. On level three, if you have 27, 
seven, you're going to get a thousand. And these again are stackable on level one, two, and three. Now that new downline member of yours has to place an auto ship order of at least 100 PV in order for you to receive that bonus, which makes this whole thing even more scummy because now not only do you have an incentive to recruit people, you also have an incentive to upsell the crap out of them. While Olive Tree people claims on their website that you can join just by shelling out $50, you don't have to buy product. This is not going to be the reality for most people, guarantee it. Because you know what's going to happen? Because there is this huge incentive for not only recruiting, but to make sure that the people you do recruit gets a nice hefty starter kit, probably equaling hundreds of dollars. The upline who is doing the enrolling, the recruiting is going to frame this as, if you really care about taking your business seriously, you're gonna get the biggest kit. Or you're gonna at least get these like top best sellers. If you really care, if you really wanna be successful, you need to buy the products. You need to be a product of the product. So sure, while Olive Tree people says on their website that you don't have to do any of that, you will be pressured into doing it under the disguise that, oh, well, you can only really be successful in business if you commit yourself right away. When really all it is is the uplines, knowing that the more they get you to buy, especially in those first 60 days, the more money they're going to make. That is how it works. You are not a business owner when someone recruits you into any MLM. You are a customer who thinks they're a business owner. Olive Tree People operates on a unilevel compensation plan, which basically means that as long as you meet your organizational volumes for the rank you're at, which usually includes retail sales and personal purchases, then you'll receive this bonus month after month. So after the first 60 days, your newest recruits, they get added into this pool of your actual like regular downline. They're not special anymore. You milk them for all they were worth for 60 days. Now they're just your regular downline. From here on out, as long as you meet those requirements we were talking about earlier, you will make 10% of everything they do. Meaning not only 10% of everything they sell, but also anything they buy for themselves. And again, because I don't have the PDF in front of me, usually these documents have like a glossary, I guess, um, that further defines things. I don't have that. So I'm just basing this off of my knowledge of other MLMs and this is generally how it goes. You recruit somebody, make 20% off of everything they do for the first 60 days. And then after that, you make 10% of everything they do for the rest of forever, as long as they're in your downline. And then if they recruit somebody, you make 5% of everything that person does. Look at the chart here. The more levels you have, the more people you have to make 5% off of, except for level six and seven, where you make 3%. But see, this is what we mean when we say that you only make money by recruiting. You can make 22 bucks by working your butt off to sell one bottle of this beauty elixir, or you could focus your energy on building a team of people who would do that instead. You don't have to do that. And while you're not making the 25% that you would get if you made those sales personally, if you recruit 10 people in your direct level one downline who are all selling one or two bottles of that every month, like that's just gonna add up. And then they recruit more people to do the same thing. Yep, that's what we call a pyramid scheme, baby. Come on. The one hilarious thing that I wanna point out here in this compensation plan is that the rank names, they're all olives. <laughs> when you join, you become an olive. <laughs> and then the ranks go green olive, violet olive, silver olive, gold olive, black olive. Ooh, everybody's favorite on pizza. Except for me, I don't, I really, I don't like olives. And then you can be an olive star, all the ranks from here on up are like the same, except they add star to the end. So the highest rank is black olive star. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just think that is so funny, dude. Not clever at all. They're like, huh, you join olive tree people, you become an olive, duh. <laughs> I was like, no. They have other rank advancement bonuses that once you really start getting up there, you get like cash bonuses for ranking up and stuff like that, but we're not gonna get into that. I don't usually like to get into the higher rank bonuses when I do deep dives, just because this video is not made for those people. This video is made for people who have been pitched the opportunity of olive tree people and wanna know what it is they're getting themselves into before they join, which if that's you, Great job. Thank you for doing your research before blindly jumping into something. Let's be honest here. You have a less than 1% chance of making it to a rank in which you will achieve 
these bonuses. It's just kind of irrelevant information and I don't want to waste anybody's time talking about it. Most people won't get there and the people who do don't watch videos like this. So One last thing to add here is that Mary Scott was bragging about how Starbucks put out a new drink that contained olive oil. First thing I'll talk about is actually our olive oil. Have you guys noticed, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but Starbucks is coming out with a drink that has olive oil in their coffee. Apparently, despite the fact that MLM distributors in every company ever just like to crap all over Starbucks all the time, like you have money to buy Starbucks every day, but you won't join my team. You won't invest in yourself. They always use Starbucks and Target as the things that you are irresponsibly spending your money on. But anyway, now suddenly this is a selling point for them. But anyway, I saw an article yesterday that says that Starbucks customers are reporting stomach issues after having their new olive oil infused coffees. So that's funny. Doesn't seem so brag worthy now, huh? But of course they would be like, oh, well, if they were using our olive oil, it wouldn't hurt their stomach, you know? They're always gonna find a way to deflect and pull stuff out of their butt. I like to think that these people in these healthcare MLMs are just pooping their brains out all the time. Anyway, that is all I really dug up as far as olive tree people go. I'm sure there's a lot more out there that's gonna come to light soon enough. I really don't think that this is going to be the last time I talk about olive tree people. I think that this is going to become a huge problem within our movement. I think we're gonna have to do a lot of debunking, a lot of reporting. Again, please don't forget, I've linked down below how to report all of this stuff to the FTC, the FDA, and to Tina. They need to hear about this because if anything, even that, just that one product saying that it's a cure, they can't do that. It's a very clear violation. So I see this as an opportunity to to just get governmental agencies up their butt from the get-go. Let them know that we're not messing around. Okay, well, I'm gonna make this quick because my baby just took his diaper off downstairs and I'm afraid he's gonna poop on the floor. So real quick, I just wanna thank some people. First of all, thank you again to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. Remember, link is down below, code is down below, use the things, get 50% off, plus free shipping. And now let's thank my patrons and my members. The list of people I'm about to name off are my financial supporters. They get access to things like our private Discord server. We have a postcard club. You get early access to videos sometimes whenever I'm able to, and sometimes even more than that. So if anything like that sounds good to you, you can go to patreon.com slash savannamarie, or you can click the join button beneath this video to join my YouTube memberships. It's all the same. Just whatever platform you want to join on is fine by me. And with that, the biggest thank you in the whole wide world goes to Janelle Pratt, Amanda Shannon, Elizabeth Wyatt, Jacqueline Nutton, Nitty Dragon, Leanne, Sheila Tapia, Willow Raymond, Amy Dolanak, Alice W, Caroline Reed, Charlotte Treese, Daniel Urena, Maddie Darley, Marley Fletcher, Ray, Tuesday the 13th, Turd Ferguson, Mira S.I.K., LaSalle Story, Laura Jensen, Mother Dragon 82, Han Bjornsson, Baby Pink Pearl, Martine Hubert, Fallon Lowry, Hannah, Little Birdie, Miss Blue, Blazed Goddess, Carrie K, Love to Be Evil, The Best Elephant, Jessica Billhart, Mitchie 84, Jess Kronfeld, Emion, and Auntie Lou, and to the rest of my financial supporters, thank you so much for being here and for being you. And even if you're not a financial supporter, thank you for watching this video and making it to the end. YouTube loves watch time, so it helps me out a lot, just the fact that you're even here. Keep making waves, babes. I'll keep you updated on Olive Tree people, and I'll smell you all later. Mommy Tsunami, out.